Hey, Facebook, Social Cam, and Twitter. I pray that your day is going well. I want to wish you a happy Friday. And today, I am coming to you guys with Refresh Friday. This is something that I started a while ago and just was inspired to bring it back. So here we are with Refresh Friday. This is the day when I come to you guys and just share out of my heart or maybe something that God has given me, but it is to refresh you and um, to just inspire you and, and prayerfully to be a blessing to you. So uh, I jotted down a couple things that I wanted to just kind of point out and today um in Refresh Friday, I just kind of wanted to talk about from fresh to refreshing. And each Friday I come, it'll, it'll be a different thing. But today, again, like I said, it's from fresh to refreshing. And I just wanted to um, first kind of talk to you guys about what fresh is. I looked it up and there's several different meanings uh, to the word fresh. And the first thing that I saw was it means to be newly made. And uh, the first thing I thought about was um, a fresh pot of greens. I know some of my um, uh, southern cooks and some of my good eaters <laughs> know about a fresh pot of greens. So the second uh, definition was newly known as in fresh experiences. Um, and then the, other, the next definition that I had was not salty which um, is referring to as fresh water. Um, and then as soon as I saw the, the worshiper in me just stirred up, um, we started talking about fresh water and the water of our worship not being stagnant. Um, the next thing that I had was not tired, uh, no, not stale or spoiled. And again, that made me think about worship and, and, and the worship that we offer up to God and it being fresh every single time that we come to him. Um, and it just made me think about the song. Um, Here's my worship, take joy in it, make it your dwelling place. I want to see us, I want to put a smile on your face. I present my heart to you. I present my heart to you. To me, that song exemplifies fresh worship. Because it's every time I come to you, I want my worship to be fresh and not stale, that it would be pleasing to you. You know, I want to present my heart to you. I want you to take joy in my worship. If I brought you a sandwich and I brought it to you and the bread was stale, the first thing you do when you take a bite and it's like, okay, this ain't no fresh loaf of bread. You know, I believe that's how God feels when we bring him our worship and we bring it to him from a fresh place in our lives as opposed to um, that last experience that we had, that last worship experience that we had. Didn't mean it was a bad experience. It means that it was that experience. And now we're talking about offering God something fresh from our lives. Oh God, I feel a preach coming on. Okay, the next one was not tired or fatigued as in our personal lives and it took me to the scripture that if any man be in Christ he is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things are new and um so I thought that was good then I came then there was the next one which was not faded or worn which makes me think about that that same scripture but as in our appearance sometimes we get a new haircut or we get a new color to our hair or we um we, we just update our wardrobe because we want to have a new a fresh appearance um and then this one was a good one uh, moderately strong or brisk as in a fresh wind and um it made me think about the wind of his presence and just how sometimes we can be in a service or service or we can be having our own personal worship experience with god and then we'll just feel that fresh wind come in and it's just uh, let the winds blow let the winds blow let the winds blow let the winds blow okay whoo yes so, to be refreshed, um, or as the word talks about, times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. So, being refreshed is, is very important because um, that's when we're made fresh again, new again, revived 
stimulated in our thinking, reinvigorated. Uh, we are made alive again. And the last thing I wanted to look at was the word refreshment. And I thought this was so good because that's something that um, we eat or drink to be refreshed. And it automatically led me to John chapter 4 uh, with the Samaritan woman and Jesus at the well. And I thought this was so good because this was when Jesus offered the woman the opportunity to be made fresh and to be made new from her stale life by drinking from the well that would never run dry. And I love that chapter um, I will never get tired of reading John chapter 4 because um, he has offered us that same thing, that well of living water that never wet, runs dry. And it, um, it just makes me realize that's why worship is so important because that's the thing that causes that well on the inside of us to stir up. And it is producing life everlasting. And it made me think about Pastor Jonathan Dunn's song, River Flow. I believe I'll take a drink from a well that won't run dry. I believe I'll take a drink from a well that giveth life. If thou only knew the gift of God and who it is that said to thee, you would ask of him to give you drink, and he would give unto thee. I got a river flowing inside of me. I'll take a drink whenever I feel the need. Because it's not at the mountain, nor at Jacob's well, but from my belly flows a well, springing up living water, worshiping me. And so, when that worship is fresh, I can let it flow, flow, worship inside of me. Yes, so that's the importance of being fresh, refreshed in the presence of the Lord so that we can offer God a fresh drink of water, not stale worship. So I encourage you to take the time to be refreshed in the presence of the Lord before you get to church on Sunday. Take that time to just get in his presence, just to just to dwell there, to linger there, so that when you get into the presence of the Lord on Sunday, you have something fresh to offer our God, our King. I love you guys to life. Until the next video, toodle.